So what I'm holding in my hand is a culture flask with uh, cells, just a few stem cells from cows, and we are going to make a, a billion cells of them, and that is you, that's what you see here in this cabinet. Here are huge versions of this flask with uh, millions, and if not a billion of cells in all these um, big 10-layer um, um, culture flats. And then we take all those cells, if you come along with me, you will see that this is the next phase, and we take all these cells and make small muscle tissues out of them. Um, and you see that here, they're in a ring shape, um, and they're about uh, a couple of millimeters wide and um, a couple of centimeters long. And this is already the muscle tissue. And then we take all these small tissues um, to produce a hamburger um, from it. And here you see in this freezer the first batches of muscle tissue that eventually are going to make the entire hamburger. So every, um, every um, uh, tube here contains a piece of the hamburger. And then we're going to uh, assemble those pieces into one hamburger and cook it and eat it. And it will be the first hamburger ever made out of stem cells. People might think this is a, a sort of a crazy way to produce meat, but um, it's inevitable because the, the way we produce meat right now through livestock is not sustainable. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for animals. And we actually are not going to produce enough to meet the world's demand. So this is one of the alternatives and might be actually the alternative.